And here we go. This vehicle is fully electric. It will be, uh, you will have an autonomy of uh, 10 to 16 hours. Yeah, the, the max speed is uh, mechanically 40 km per hour. So the, the, the main goal of the electric uh, energy in this vehicle is that you, you will consume um, not so much electricity every day and it will cost you about uh, 10 euros a day uh, to, to get a full charge on this vehicle. You're driving to a destination and if someone is willing to go to the same place and is uh, on the street uh, just aside, the vehicle will... Uh, you will be able to share your vehicle. It's the, the main goal of all those vehicles are shared mobility. Uh, that's how we will reduce uh, emissions and improve uh, um, uh, the, the flux of passengers. For the future, uh, we think such cars will be safer. Uh, so yeah, most of accidents happen uh, because of uh, human error. error. Uh, this vehicle doesn't need any infrastructure. It's working all by itself. Uh, we have to set it up uh, first uh, for the path. Uh, basically, there are two parts. Uh, localization parts, the, the vehicle has to localize itself uh, very precisely as, as, at uh, one centimeter precision. So this is the first part. And also the second part is uh, obstacle uh, detection. Uh, the vehicle has uh, four lidars in the four corners. So when the, the vehicle uh, detects uh, an obstacle, it adapts the speed. Uh, depending on the movement of the obstacle and once uh, the obstacle moves the vehicle just uh, continues uh, its way. I'm a really optimistic person so I would say in uh, 15 years you will start to have cities only using those kind of vehicles. Uh, we just need some, uh, some uh, city to, to do the first step and then the other one will follow the, uh, follow the lead.